Y'all ready for some pizza? Mm. All right, we're in the first Saturday of the quarantine and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some pizza today. I think it's been since Thursday since I brushed my hair. So I'm looking good. I'm wondering how long I can go without doing it. Uh, we'll see, but I like to keep that going. Loving the flow. So uh, let's go break out the green egg and get these pizzas started. I've got the shoes of the chef on today. Today is one of the better days for cooking. We're gonna do homemade pizza. Now this is a classic sort of East Coast style pizza, thin crust, and we're gonna fire it up uh, inside the green egg. We learned this recipe and technique from Michael Calante. We took a class from him up in Sonoma. I'll link it up top. You can check it out, but it's just that classic New York style, thin crust, limited ingredient style of pizza with pepperoni, onions, homemade sauce, homemade pizza dough, uh, and just very, very minimalistic, but man, is it, does it turn out good. One of the more surprising things for me about the green egg is that I actually like it. For a long period of time, I put it off. My wife wanted to get one, but I just thought it would be a huge pain in the ass because I thought you had to constantly refill the charcoal and it would, it would just be a lot of work to do, but I really like the thing and that surprises me the most. And what I think I found is that it's really like lighting up a campfire and sitting around the campfire and just being around people you like and eating and the whole experience is just really pleasant. So I love this thing. I'd say most weekends we, we throw something out on the egg, whether it's a, a quick steak or a pizza or a long cook. Um, boy, has that thing turned out to be nice. And to top it off, it does pizzas unbelievably well because it's got the dome on top. So the theory is you've got the fire from the bottom cooking the bottom of the pizza and then the dome is cooking the top. And once you get those evened out, it turns out super nice. I like eating this pizza more than any other pizza in town. Well, except for Ficini's. I really like Ficini's. But I have found that since we started making this, I'm often disappointed in restaurant style pizza because this is so dang good. I, I just love this stuff. So let's go check it out. Love it. As I bask in anticipation for the lighting of the grill, it's time to fire up that ceremonial first beer of the day. Oh yeah. Oh. Right, that fire's crackling pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and put the plate setter in there and uh, get this thing heated up internally. Gotta make sure to don the Air Force Blue. All right. Now one of the key concepts is getting that pizza stone up as high into the dome as you can. So we're gonna use bricks on top of that plate setter get that pizza stone raised up. So one of my favorite tools in this whole process is this thing. This is a laser radiation device. And so what I do is I just shoot that at the pizza stone to make sure we're at uh, 500 degrees. So watch this, let's see. I point it at the wall. The wall is apparently 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it on my hand. What's my hand say? 67 degrees. Mmm, little clammy. So this is what we'll use to make sure we get that uh, pizza stone 
nice and perfect at about 500. All right, we've got the dome up to about 600 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put that stone in there. Okay, let's take our first reading. 243, a little bit longer. It's been about five minutes. All right, let's take our reading again. And bam, there it is, 500, we're ready to go. All right, we've got to start with putting our flour down on the peel. Some people like to use cornmeal. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like that crunchy texture on the bottom and uh, flour works just fine when you give it the shimmy shake. Go ahead and dunk the dough all in flour so it's all consumed in flour. Go ahead and shape the crust on the outside here. Oh, look at that bubbly. That thing rose nicely, look at that thing. Go ahead and flop that, do the same thing on the other side. Ooh, popped a little bit. So there's our crust. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and gravity pull that. In the class, uh, the chef, Calante, talked about using a roller and we actually did use a roller in the class but I found it's easier just to gravity pull this thing. Just work my hands around the edges and let the dough stretch itself out. You can start to see opaqueness coming through on the on the dough. So I'll go ahead and alternate and get a few knuckle pulls here. Wish I could throw this up and do it like you're supposed to do it uh, East Coast style, but I can't. I'm um, just an amateur still. Gonna keep pulling that. Oh yeah, can you start to see that opaqueness there in the middle? Look at that, we're starting to get right towards the edge here, which is perfect. We do, that part in the middle is getting really opaque, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop before I tear a hole in that. Oh yeah, look at that thing. There it is, mm-hmm, look at that. Oh yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little olive oil down on that, not too much, just to get a little, little golden baking action going out there on the egg. Oh yeah, look at that. That should be enough, I'll put that out to the side. Let's work that around a little bit and just to kind of get it around the edges, all right. So now we're gonna put our sauce down. Again, this is a minimalist type of pizza, so we're gonna go ahead and try not to put too much, kind of work it from the center outwards. Look at that, mm -mm. This is homemade sauce. Everything's fresh. The only thing we didn't make is the sausage, obviously, and the cheese, but all this, everything else, homemade. And look at that, we don't wanna to get too much. That's just about perfect there. Okay, put some sausage down. We have found that we prefer sausage over pepperoni. We'll do both, typically, but we have found that our favorite, actually, is the pepperoni. And this is just uh, the stuff from a tube, country gravies type stuff that we got at Safeway. Mm -mm, look at that. All right, got some mozzarella cheese here. Mm-hmm, look at that. There it is. Just about right there. And we're just gonna top her off with some onions. These are sweet onions. Sometimes we've used red, they're a little overpowering at times. These are sweet white onions. These, pretty nice. So that should be it. There we go. And we're gonna take this thing outside. Really the key, just to get in there, 
give it the shimmy and shake, and bam, you can just use flour. I'm gonna correct that prep roti. There it is, easy peasy. Alright folks, we are about to engage in a pizza orgy. Mm. Mm. Have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs>